Hi, question number seven taken from June 2016, advanced level maths, HSE S1. The amounts uh, spent by 160 shoppers at a supermarket are summarized in the following table. And uh, as we can see, the table is given that we need to draw a cumulative frequency graph of this distribution and for the second part, to estimate the median and interquarter range of the amount spent. Also estimate the number of shoppers who spent more than $115. Calculate an estimate of the mean amount uh, spent. Now, to be able to do something like this, what I've done is I've just drawn a new table here, right? So this is what's been given in the question: zero to thirty, thirty to fifty, and additional column. I've put a midpoint column here: zero plus thirty divided by two is going to be fifteen. And similarly, I've done for each and every one of them to get the midpoints of each interval. The frequency has been given and therefore I've constructed the cumulative frequency table starting from 16, 16 and 16 plus 40, 56, plus 48, 104, plus 26, 130, plus 30, 160. We're going to need that in order to be able to plot the points. The points we're going to plot to draw the curve is going to be 30 and then 16, 50, 56 as you can see 30 16 50 56 70 104 here we are 80 130 um, Sorry 90 130 and here we are 140 160 this is it now also um, After having drawn the curve Okay, now before we go any further I've constructed another table called FX in order, in order to be able to be able to find the mean because in the question for the last part, we need to find the mean. Last part is the fourth part of the question. And here we are, this is the fourth part of the question. But anyway, the fx table is quite easy. So f multiplied by x. So it's 15 times 16 is going to 240. 40 times 40, 1,600. 60 times 48 is going to give you all of that. The sum of all of this is going to be the summation of x. Summation of x. Now... Where can we find the median? We know that uh, there's 160 people. The median is the middle term. Therefore, 160 divided by 2 is going to give us 80. If we want to find the median, we're going to look at uh, the 80th on the vertical column of the graph. So, this is the graph, basically, what I've just been able to draw. And uh, 80 is here drawing a line all the way to the curve and dropping it down I've come with a value of a hundred I'm sorry a value of 59 so the median is 59 for this uh, distribution also for the upper quartile upper quartile is three quarter of the frequency and then one quarter of the frequency of the frequency so these are the two readings at 120th and then at 40th so 120th is here and if you draw you draw your line and you touch the curve you're going to come down with an upper quartile of 80. Also, for the lower quartile, one quarter of 160 is 40. Touch the curve, you come down to 42. And then therefore, the upper quartile minus the lower quartile is going to give you the interquartile range. 80 minus 42 is going to give you 38. And here we are for the interquartile range. And also, we need to estimate for the third part, how many of those shoppers are spending a hundred more than hundred fifteen dollars if we look at the horizontal line more than hundred fifteen is somewhere here as I mean if you start from here it's going to be hundred fifteen so more than that all here hundred twenty hundred forty hundred fifty so you just draw a line you go up all the way to the curve and read here you're going to come hundred forty nine to be able to know how many people are spending more than hundred fifteen here it's going to be from 149 to 160. Therefore, we take 160 minus 149, and that's going to give us 11. And therefore, we have 11, 11 people spending more than $115. And for the summation of x, as I have already explained to you, you just take the sum of fx here. Summation of x is going to come to 10,250. And you divide by 160 from your calculator. You're going to end up with 64.1 for the mean. Here we are for this question. Take care. I hope that's been uh, that's been of some help to you.